Okay, somebody brought me a four-wheeler to work on. I'm just gonna do some fiberglass work to extend these pieces since he stretched the frame. This is a Suzuki 750. It's a GSSR engine on the four-wheeler. Did a little stretch on the frame. So I have to go ahead and make this center section to, to extend out to fit here and here. Together, so um, what are we gonna say? Splints at this wood right here. Since right here is thin on the on the both sides, I'm gonna secure it. Since it's so thin over here, we got thickness, so it's good. But I need to secure these two pieces together. So what I wanna do is <clears throat> cut piece two pieces and hot glue them together same thing on the other one and a little piece right in the back there right two pieces just to hold them together while I'm finished the, uh, the sanding process the shaping process and uh, fiberglass process so okay here we go
finish the mold well this is a skin basically i did the one side that was uh, three layers of um, fiberglass cloth three layers and about a couple layers of resin let the resin set overnight and then went over put a, another layer of resin to get nice and smooth i guess not really for the smoothness but so now i'm gonna just demold it it's gonna come out like this what i'm gonna do is go in here and get the chop mat and fill it in it will shrink a little bit and it'll start to pull in um on the walls but it doesn't matter to me because um the purpose of this will is going to be able to fit still <clears throat> it'll open up a little bit when it shrinks back it'll be right back to the same um size of the actual mold that i created so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do the chop mat inside demold this chop mat and go on from there cut it out this is what i got nice thickness almost original i guess it's about three layers of fiberglass yeah so these should be about fine all i'm gonna do is go back now and create these lips to sit where i cut out behind here around this edge all it's going to do is get a flat strip and basically uh, glue it on and uh, yeah probably run some uh, some resin inside and just glue it down and let it dry like that and then everything will be one piece and that's what I got some um some gaps in, in between the fitment was looking good i went and uh mix up some strands so resin and really filled in the gaps so what i'm gonna do now is come and cut it out and uh 
shape, get it shaped, and that, that will be the final for this. Hopefully, I'll be done. I'll give it to the customer, and they'll be satisfied. I'm pretty satisfied, so here we go. Fitment of the uh, fitted. Uh,